Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're diving into a long-standing feud. That's right, tonight, what is better, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof or Stag Jr.? So tonight, with scientific evidence from my palate, we will have a definitive answer. Now I know there's some of you that feel very strongly on one side of this argument. Um, but, you know, if you take away the hype of the Buffalo Trace, these two are kind of close on paper. So fighting first in the Stag Jr. corner will be Stag Jr. Batch 16. 130.9 proof, compute, compute, 65.45% alcohol by volume in the beautiful stag with the junior, with the junior where it belongs. Um, you know, stag junior, age-wise, we don't know really, um, probably in the 8 to 10 range somewhere, uh, could be more, could be a little less, uh, I'm not really sure, but you know, the darling of the Buffalo Trace line. So, you know, MSRP on these is like 60, 65. Uh, generally, at least when this one came out, it was, it was a 60 doll hairs. So, and I know, I know, a lot of you pay more than that for. Also fighting in the Stag Junior corner is Stag No Junior Batch 18. Uh, I know Batch 19 slash 22B is out now, but uh, PA hasn't released that and probably won't for several years. Um, so this is the latest batch I have, is the 18. This one comes in at 131 proof, compute, compute, 65.5% alcohol by volume. So, uh, a little bit hotter, just a touch hotter. The first contender, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C920. That's right, we pulled out one of the heavy hitters from 2020 in here tonight. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, 12 years old, by the side label, guaranteed from Heaven Hill. Uh, price on these bad boys, $64.99 a bottle. Um, again, I know some, some of you pay more, maybe in the 70, 80, maybe even 90 range, but generally these can be found for less than the Stag Juniors. So for those that need a recap, C920 comes in at 132.8 proof compute compute 66.4 percent alcohol by volume so the biggest hitter of the night in terms of proof the latest what the f is going on with this thing it just keeps like turning up <laughs> Last but not least, for the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Corner, Batch A123, the latest batch. Because uh, we're in the end of April here, so, you know, Batch B523 will be out shortly. But as of right now, this is the latest batch. This one's also 12 years old and also was purchased in PA for $64.99 a bottle. So, good pricing still abound here for that. This one comes a little bit lower tonight. This is for those low proof lovers at 125.6. Compute, compute, 62.8% alcohol by volume. All right, so my wife poured these blind for me lovingly without hesitation when I asked. <laughs> it was no, I got better stuff to do. We don't hear that often around here. So tonight we're gonna go through these uh, Obviously, two stags and two Elijah Craig barrel proofs, and we're going to pick my number one, two, three, and four. Now, to preface this, there are no losers here. They're all going to be good. Um, but, you know, this kind of, the hope here is that this goes to show you that Stag Jr., although very good, could maybe, you know, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Elijah Craig barrel proof, perhaps. So, we're going to start here with the blue, and let's give it a nose. God, it smells so good. You know what it smells like? Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. God, just tons of caramels, oaks, and brown sugars. Gosh, that smells good. Mmm, very rich. Let's take a sip. 
gosh, that's delicious. It's all just like I said, caramel, brown sugar, oak, molasses even. Um, very deep, dark, and rich. A little coating on the mouth. Boy, we like that one a lot. I think I think that's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Next up, in the red. All right, uh, this one I'm getting a little little uh, cherry note on it, but still kind of could be the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof scent here. I wonder if you just poured these like you know two and two, didn't mix them maybe. So this one comes off a little sweeter. Um, this is a little bit of that red fruit cherry note coming on with smoke. Uh, less of the caramel here. Let's take a sip. Oh boy. That's a Stag Junior. Um, a lot sweeter. A little bit of the cherry note. And you know a little bit of the oak brown sugar there too. But um, not as caramely. Um, as the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, well, what I believe to be that in the blue. All right, in the green. This also smells like Stag Junior. Oh, this one is. This is very fruit forward uh, in the red fruit category. Perhaps also some stone fruits in here. I'm getting like a cherry peach pie, if that's such a thing. Let's take a sip. Wow. Um, oh, that one's delicious. So that's all, all that fruit, like I said. And it's just, it is, there's some caramel in there, some oak. Pr pretty thick on the mouthfeel. That's that's up there. Um, I do believe that is a Stag Junior. If I, if I was a betting man, that's 16. And the gold, the winner's Glen. As some say. Oh, what a monster. This is definitely the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof in here. Man, what a monster of like just creamy caramel, oak, brown sugar. I, I guess there's a little bit of a nutty note, but these don't come off very peanutty. Let's take a sip. Oh my gosh. What a delicious blend of oak, caramel, and some brown sugar. Uh, I believe that's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A123, which in my initial review I liked it quite a bit, but it has really improved with air. If you have not picked up an A123 batch and uh, you want to, I'd go pick up one, maybe two. All right, so I'm gonna go back through these off camera and make my, you know, rankings and, and guesses. So we'll see how that ends up. We'll be right back. All right, and we're back with the rankings and results. Um, this was very tough. I had two that were clearly three and four and two that were clearly one or two. Um, different day, I could probably swap these back and forth. Rita, may we have the results? She's ironing, so give us a second. What color? Last place, blue. Blue is C9 20. What? Okay, so what is in third place? All right, so last place was actually Elijah Craig the Barrel Proof C920. Didn't expect that. I thought that was Stag uh, Junior 18. Well, in third place is red, Rita. What was red? Red is Stag 131. So that's. That's that's batch 18. Okay, so I had those two flip flopped. All right, uh, first place in the green tonight. Stag Junior 130.9. Stag Junior batch 16, like I guessed. And so second place was Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A123 in the Correct, gold. In the gold. All right, so uh, yes, Stag Junior won out tonight, uh, but Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A123 got a very close second. And I'll tell you why. Simply that it has delicious amount of oak that I enjoy. If you're not a, a massive oak guy, you might not have picked that order. Um, it almost took first. I was back and forth between that and, and the batch 16 of Stag Jr. for a little bit. But the batch 16 of Stag Jr. just has such a fruit bomb with the oak. that is just a little bit more complex, which is why it won out tonight. That's all. But that's not all. Just when you thought we were done, a little special Jack Daniels 
single barrel barrel proof joins the fray for 66 doll hairs well went up 69 doll hairs in PA so they're actually the most expensive MSRP wise does it compete so this is the Chris Fletcher 2021 little 375 edition so now you know I it's not probably probably not gonna win I have a store pick that probably would but I didn't pick that tonight because that's not in that's not indicative of a, of a general shelf version gosh just the ripe banana scent right on the right on the nose bananas caramels creams let's take a sip my God, is that good. I don't think that wouldn't have got last for me. So, I got to say, if you're on the hunt for a Stag Junior and, you, and you've been, you know, hunting hard, you're like, I got to pay 200 300 175 Maybe you don't, you know. Uh, even though it did win overall tonight, Logic Craig Barrel Proof is a great alternative um, for roughly the same MSRP. And, uh, you know, even that's a little limited, but if you just find one of these Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proofs just sit on the shelf, you can pick that up and, and, I mean, you're in the ballpark, okay? You're in the ballpark. So if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button, everybody. Thanks. Have a good evening.